So recently in my last couple of videos, I've gone for a more, uh, more unique route. Uh, in my last video, I did the AFL season predictions with the AFL YouTubers where I asked them. And in the video before, I did a sports battle with Isaac. So yeah, I have, um, I've tried to deter away from the stock standard team making uh, sport balls during the off season. And this video is no exception. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a different one. I want to see how this one goes. I've, uh, I'm going to see what AFL jumpers would look like if they uh, were mixed together with another club. So, like, the colours are different, but the design is the same. So, what I've done is I've created uh, home and away jumpers for these uh, these mix, those mixes of teams. And, uh, yeah, I've chosen two teams to mix. And, oh, uh, yeah, I'll show you what the jumpers look like. And, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy and let's just get straight into it. So... For the first design, we've got um, the two West, uh, South Australian teams, Adelaide and Port Adelaide. So as you can see with the jumpers, it's got the teal and the white for the stripes instead of the red and the blue. And for the um, uh, Adelaide or the Port Adelaide, I guess, it's got the crow's colors, which kind of looks like, it's like a bit of an inverse for the South Australian jumper. And yeah, let me know down below which, uh, which jumpers of the two you like better. Um, so yeah, that's what I had for the two, those two. And then with the aways, for the aways, I've uh, had the, uh, as you can see right there, the away jumper for Port Adelaide does look a lot like the uh, South Australia. And for the Adelaide away jumper, I've gone with the new, the new um, 2020 away jumper. I put the teal in the middle, the white crow. It looks pretty, uh, quite slick actually, in my opinion. So the next two teams I uh, have mixed together are Brisbane and the Western Bulldogs. So let's just see uh, how they look. So I've started for the home jumpers. As you can see, for the Brisbane Lions jumper, the lion is now white. The uh, red is, well, it kind of does remind you of the uh, Fitzroy Lions jumper with the red. And for the, um, for the Bulldogs jumper, honestly, the colors don't really look well. The, the uh, maroon, the uh, shade of blue and the yellow. So yeah, definitely. If I had to pick a jumper, that uh, the Brisbane Lion, the new Brisbane Lion look definitely looks a lot better in my opinion. And let's go to the away jumpers. And as you can see, definitely more going on in the Brisbane one again with the uh, the red lion and the blue stripe going behind. Looks actually pretty cool. And as you can see for the um, Western Bulldogs, it's just maroon and uh, gold stripes with a white background. So pretty basic. Uh, the colors, they work in a way, uh, but yeah. I'm not sure if th this might have been used for a jumper before. I'm not too sure. I definitely, um, I th yeah, it is actually the North Melbourne. It used to be their away jumper with a line. So that's something to, uh, to look at. Uh, the next two teams I decided to mix were West Coast and St Kilda. And yeah, let's just see what they look like. So it was a bit hard for me when I did this because uh, West Coast, I mean, St Kilda had a three colours in their team, um, whilst the Eagles only had two, but I made it kind of work. Uh, for the Saints, I instead of the um, red and black, I put white, I put yellow, and the, uh, the West Coast blue on, on the stripes. So it actually does kind of look pretty decent and for the eagle one I had instead of the uh, the blue I put black in and instead of the uh, the the yellow cuffs or whatever you call them I had white and the red eagle which uh, honestly the color design uh, looks all right it definitely looks pretty decent for the away jumpers for the away jumpers are actually quite different as you can see the uh, the uh, St Kilda away jumpers they are um, they kind of in a way look like the Sandringham Zebras jumper in a way, but although I know it's black, but yeah, I actually quite like it. The, uh, I got rid of the white for the away jumper, whilst for the West Coast Eagles jumper, there's a definitely, it's basically an inverse of the other one. So yeah, that's uh, St Kilda and West Coast inverse. So next two teams that I decided to uh, mash up were GWS and Richmond, uh, the last uh, grand finalists uh, and obviously where Richmond smashed them by 89 points. So for the uh, home Guernsey, uh, the, the the Richmond, they, they do look in a way a little bit similar with the orange and yellow looking a little bit similar uh, and the dark green and black looking similar. But as you can see, this is uh, uh, what they would have looked like uh, with the orange stripe for Richmond and the uh, yellow background for the uh, Giants. 
and then it's pretty similar for the away jumpers. It's uh, for the, um, as you can see, for the Giants jumper, it's all yellow. And uh, with the uh, great, with the, uh, what is it? Yeah, the black G. And for Richmond, I actually think it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's an orange background with a black, with a, sorry, a, a dark green stripe. Yeah, it actually looks like a pretty cool jumper. But yeah, let me know which one you like more. The Next up, we uh, the teams that I matched were Melbourne and Hawthorne, which actually was a conception for them to merge at one stage, which is kind of funny. So this is what it would look like as a um, home jumper. So for the Hawks, uh, the background is red and navy blue stripe, or yeah, navy blue stripes. As for the, uh, the Melbourne, uh, it, it does remind me of a, a Hawthorne jumper. I'm pretty sure that Hawthorne did have a jumper almost similar like this, like a heritage jumper or something. Golden yolk, brown um, in the bottom, and yeah, pretty pretty uh, uh, good looking jumper to be honest with you. Uh, red and blue one as well. Both of these jumpers I reckon would look good um, if they did put them out in, um, yeah, if they did ever wear them, I, would rec I reckon they'd look pretty good. And as for the uh, away jumpers, uh, for, yeah, for the Melbourne jumper, uh, the background is all golden, uh, but not much difference really. The front's the same, it's just that the back is more golden, there's barely any brown. But yeah, those are Melbourne and Hawthorne. I reckon those two are probably, so far, the ones that look most uh, presentable, in my opinion, for the um, jumpers. Uh, next two teams that I decided to mash up were Carlton and Essendon, and let's just say that um, while doing this, uh, didn't look as good. So probably out of all the ones I did, these are probably the two that look the well not as great. Yeah, they they're pretty ugly jumpers. So for especially look at this, uh, you can barely tell that's um, Essendon. So what I tried to do was well, I switched the navy blue around with the red. So here for the Colton one, it's just red on um, black. Um, it basically almost looks identical to the normal Colton jumper, just with the white. Whilst with the SNN one, as you can see, the uh, num the font. I didn't know what um, color to put the font as. I had a, uh, I decided just to do um, baby blue, just because um, it's kind of Colton. They're the blues and all that. And then for the stripe, I had a white stripe and navy blue um, background. So as you can see, the jumper. Uh, doesn't look that good, especially with the number, but when you look at the away jumper, I reckon it probably looks even worse. Uh, so yeah, for the away jumper, I, um, white background, I had a bit of a lightish blue outline for the stripe and, uh, baby blue numbers. And then, as you can see for the, uh, Carlton away Guernsey, it doesn't look so bad, actually. The red background and they, and the black, uh, Carlton, yeah, the, the black emblem for the blues it reminds me of the melbourne jumper they had one year where the uh they had the red background with the melbourne emblem which i actually thought was one of their better jumpers so next up we've got collingwood and gold coast i decided to mix them up because i had yeah but both of the colors uh they had gold coast have red and gold whilst collingwood have black and white so it would have been a would have looked to be a pretty interesting uh mix up so for the home jumper as you can see um, the Gold Coast jumper is basically just black on white, and yeah, it, it doesn't look so bad, but yeah, definitely the uh, normal Gold Coast jumper is a lot better, whilst for the Collingwood, it's uh, red with yellow stripes, so yeah, both of these jumpers, they're alright, not my favourites, but yeah, they're, I'll give them a pass, and when we go to the away jumpers, they're probably... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say with the away jumpers. It looks a bit like a like a cartoon. Like the Collingwood one almost looks laughable in a way with the uh, bright colours because the Gold Coast, uh, their away jumper is blue. So that's why I just put it on the away jumper for Collingwood. But yeah, it doesn't look too good. The uh, blue background, red stripes, yellow numbers and cuffs don't look too great. As with the Gold Coast, it's just white with black. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I put the blue collar but i did so yeah collingwood and gold coast interesting but not not that great so the second last teams i had matched up were sydney and geelong and they both had the white so i thought i would uh for the geelong one as you can see red and white landscape 
And I think Sydney did use this. I'm pretty sure they've used this before. It's a heritage jumper. So, yeah, it does look pretty good. Whilst for the uh, Sydney one, yeah, it looks a bit... It doesn't look too great. I don't think these two colours look... Well, they don't look... as Knowing how familiar the Sydney uh, jumper is, having it like this uh, doesn't look uh, too familiar. And, and honestly, it doesn't look too great. In my opinion and I didn't actually do an away one for this because Geelong don't have an away jumper but yeah I probably should have thinking about it since I did one for all the other clubs and the last one that I did was Fremantle on North Melbourne which to be honest out of all the ones I've done probably the one with the least changes and then for North Melbourne it's just purple and white stripes and then we go to the away and it's just the inverses pretty much. For Fremantle, you've got the uh, white on blue stripes. Whilst for North Melbourne, you've got white with the purple stripes. And yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah, as I said before, they look very similar to what they did before. So yeah, yeah, that's basically the video. What I tried to do in this video was a bit of a different one to, to just, yeah, just to mix things up a bit because I didn't really feel like doing another sporkle where I just sat and talked. I tried to do something different where I got like two teams jumpers and mixed them together to see what they would look like. Um, let me know if you did enjoy the video and if you want me to do more with other teams, drop them down below which two teams you'd like to see uh, mix up together because I might do a part two if this does do well because lately my videos haven't been getting the views that I would have hoped for. And if you guys are wondering how I made these, I just did it basically on Paint 3D on my, on my laptop for free. That's why the, you know, some of the um, jumpers didn't look too great. They were a bit over the sh shop. Um, but yeah, if you do, if you did want to make something like this, um, yeah, paint is how I did it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video and let me know what you want to see for, um, future videos down below because, uh, I'm getting a little bit stuck on video ideas, um, uh, coming footy season and I'll see you guys all soon. Cheers.